hoping to catch a glimpse of Zimbabwean President Robert Mugabe. Sowetans lined the streets when they heard that the elder statesman was in their neck of the woods. His officials say the Zimbabwean president had been looking forward to this particular visit. Soweto, as best known for its rich history embedded in the country's struggle, it's home to some of the country's more famous faces and is the only place where two Nobel laureates, Nelson Mandela and Desmond Tutu, once lived in the same street. It's an honor to have President Mugabe here in Soweto as one of our African leaders because he's not only Zimbabwe's greatest president but also an inspiration to some young people who dream to become a big person like he is. He's an African giant. I love President Mugabe for to provide best education in Zimbabwe. And I like him to to help us South African to provide the best education that he gives in his country. Mugabe also visited the Hector Pistersen Museum. And when he emerged, he was in top Mugabe form. The question posed to him whether the tour evoked any particular emotions. Mr. President, did it evoke any memory? But then he spotted a white journalist in the throngs of those wanting the perfect soundbite. I want to say white. Yudi Sanjamala, SABC News, Soweto.